for the sake of this video, the classification will be done solely based on each dog breed's bite force in pounds per square inch (PSI), 9 being the lowest and 1 being the highest. About the PSI. Well, it depends on who you ask. Let's get into it. 9. Chow Chow. Around 220 PSI. Chow Chows are medium-sized dogs with a sturdy and well-balanced build. Males typically weigh between 55 to 70 pounds and stand around 19 to 22 inches tall, while females usually weigh 45 to 60 pounds and stand 18 to 20 inches tall. They have a distinctive lion-like appearance due to their thick fur and blue-black tongue. Chow Chows are known for being loyal and protective of their families but can be aggressive towards strangers and other animals. They have a strong prey drive and should not be left unsupervised with small animals. Chow Chows are independent and can be stubborn, making them a challenging breed to train. They require early socialization and consistent training to prevent aggressive behavior. In some states and countries, Chow Chows are considered a dangerous breed and are banned or restricted. These states include Michigan, Missouri, and Delaware, and countries such as Norway and Denmark. This is due to their history of aggression towards people and other animals. The Chow Chow also has one of the strongest bite forces among dog breeds, with a bite force of up to 220 pounds per square inch. This, coupled with their aggressive tendencies, makes them a potentially dangerous breed. It is crucial for owners to properly socialize and train their Chow Chows to prevent any incidents. 8. American Pit Bull Terrier around 235 PSI. The American Pit Bull Terrier is a medium-sized breed with a muscular, stocky build. Males typically weigh between 35 to 65 pounds and stand 18 to 21 inches tall at the shoulder, while females weigh between 30 to 50 pounds and stand 17 to 20 inches tall at the shoulder. Pit Bulls are loyal and affectionate dogs that are known for their courage and determination. They are often used in dogfighting due to their strength and agility, and they have a reputation for being aggressive towards other animals and humans. However, with proper socialization and training, pit bulls can be wonderful family pets. Pit bulls have a bite force of around 235 pounds per square inch, psi, which is stronger than most other dog breeds. This, coupled with their history of being used in dogfighting, has led to pit bulls being banned in several countries and states. These include the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Canada, and some parts of the United States, such as Miami-Dade County in Florida, and Denver, Colorado. In terms of traits, pit bulls are energetic and need plenty of exercise and mental stimulation. They are intelligent and eager to please, making them trainable dogs. However, they can be strong-willed and require consistent and firm training. It's worth noting that the term pit bull can refer to several different breeds, including the American Pit Bull Terrier, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and American Staffordshire Terrier. However, they all share similar physical characteristics and temperament traits. 7. German Shepherd. Around 238 PSI. German Shepherds are one of the most popular breeds in the world and are known for their loyalty, intelligence, and versatility. Here are some of their key traits. Height. Males stand at 24 to 26 inches, 60 to 65 centimeters, tall at the shoulder, while females stand at 22 to 24 inches, 55 to 60 centimeters, tall. Weight. Males weigh between 66 to 88 pounds, 30 to 40 kilograms, while females weigh between 49 to 71 pounds, 22 to 32 kilograms. Appearance. German Shepherds have a strong, muscular build with a thick coat that comes in a variety of colors, including black, tan, and sable. They have a distinctive head shape with a long, straight muzzle and upright ears. Temperament. German Shepherds are highly intelligent, loyal, and protective. They are often used as police and military dogs due to their ability to be trained for a variety of tasks. They are also great family pets, but need proper socialization and training. While German Shepherds are not typically considered a dangerous breed, there have been cases of aggression in some individuals. The breed is known for its strong protective instinct, 
which can sometimes result in aggressive behavior towards strangers or other dogs. In the United States, German Shepherds are not on any banned breed lists at the federal level, but some cities and states may have their own regulations. For example, in the state of Michigan, there are several cities that have breed-specific legislation that regulates or bans certain breeds, including German Shepherds. In other countries, German Shepherds may be subject to breed-specific legislation. In the United Kingdom, for example, German Shepherds are not on the banned breed list, but they are considered a high-risk breed and owners may be subject to certain restrictions. German Shepherds also have a powerful bite force, with an average of 238 pounds of pressure per square inch. While this does not necessarily make them more dangerous than other breeds, it does mean that they are capable of causing serious injury if they do bite. 6. Doberman Pinscher. Around 245 to 305 psi. Doberman Pinschers are medium-sized, muscular dogs that were bred as guard dogs in Germany during the late 19th century. They are loyal and protective dogs that can be trained for a variety of tasks. However, they can also be aggressive if not properly trained and socialized. The average height of a male Doberman Pinscher is around 26 to 28 inches, while females are slightly smaller at 24 to 26 inches. Their weight ranges from 60 to 100 pounds, with males typically weighing more than females. Dobermans are known for their alertness, intelligence, and trainability. They are also very active dogs that require plenty of exercise and mental stimulation. However, their protective instincts can sometimes make them suspicious of strangers and prone to aggression. Due to their reputation as aggressive dogs, Doberman Pinschers are banned in several states and countries. In the United States, they are banned in Michigan and Denver, Colorado. Other countries that have banned or restricted Doberman ownership include Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Spain, and France. Doberman Pinschers are also known for the powerful bite force, which can measure up to 305 psi pounds per square inch. This is one of the strongest bite forces among dog breeds, which adds to their reputation as potentially dangerous dogs. It is important to note that responsible breeding, socialization, and training can greatly reduce the risk of aggression in Doberman Pinschers. 5. Siberian Husky. Around 320 psi, although some sources say 224 psi. Siberian Huskies are known for their friendly and outgoing nature, but they can be considered dangerous in certain situations. Here are some more details about this breed. Traits. 1. Intelligent and independent 2. Athletic and energetic 3. Social and friendly 4. Can be stubborn and difficult to train 5. Have a high prey drive and may chase smaller animals. 6. Can have a strong desire to roam and escape. 7. May howl and bark frequently. Height and size. 1. Males stand 21 to 23.5 inches, 53 to 60 centimeters, tall and weigh 45 to 60 pounds, 20 to 27 kilograms. 2. Females stand 20 to 22 inches, 51 to 56 centimeters, tall and weigh 35 to 50 pounds, 16 to 23 kilograms. Why they can be dangerous. 1. Huskies were originally bred for sledding and running long distances, so they have a lot of energy and require a lot of exercise. If they don't get enough exercise, they can become bored and destructive. 2. They have a strong prey drive and may chase smaller animals, including cats and small dogs. 3. They can be difficult to train because they are independent and like to do things on their own terms. 4. Huskies can be escape artists and may try to run away from home if they are not properly secured. 5. In some cases, Huskies have been known to attack and injure people, especially children. However, this is not a common occurrence and is usually the result of poor breeding or socialization. Bite force. According to a study by the National Geographic Channel, Huskies have a bite force of 320 pounds per square inch. PSI. In terms of breed-specific legislation BSL, Huskies are not typically included on lists of banned or restricted breeds. However, 
there are some states and countries where they may be subject to specific regulations or restrictions. For example, in Hawaii, all dogs entering the state must undergo a quarantine period, and in certain municipalities, Huskies may be subject to additional regulations regarding leash laws and confinement. 4. Rottweiler. Around 328 psi. Rottweilers are large, muscular dogs that were originally bred as herding dogs. They have a broad head and strong jaw, and are known for their loyalty and protective nature. However, they are also known for being potentially dangerous if not properly trained and socialized. In terms of size, Male Rottweilers typically stand 24 to 27 inches, 61 to 69 centimeters, tall at the shoulder and weigh between 95 to 135 pounds, 43 to 61 kilograms. Females are slightly smaller, standing 22 to 25 inches, 56 to 63 centimeters, tall and weighing between 80 to 100 pounds, 36 to 45 kilograms. Rottweilers are known for their strength, intelligence, and loyalty to their family. They are very protective of their owners and can be aggressive towards strangers or other animals if they perceive a threat. They require a firm, consistent hand in training and socialization from an early age to ensure that they are well behaved and not overly aggressive. Due to their potential for aggression, Rottweilers are banned or restricted in some states and countries. In the United States, there are several cities and counties that have restrictions on Rottweilers, including Denver, Colorado, and Miami-Dade County, Florida. In the United Kingdom, Rottweilers are considered a dangerous breed and are subject to strict regulations under the Dangerous Dogs Act. The bite force of a Rottweiler is estimated to be around 328 pounds per square inch (psi), which is considered one of the strongest among dog breeds. It's important to note that while Rottweilers are capable of inflicting serious harm, most Rottweilers are friendly and well-behaved if they are trained and socialized properly. 3. Akita. Around 400 PSI. The Akita is a powerful and independent breed that originated in Japan. They are known for their loyalty, bravery, and protective nature, which can make them great family pets but also pose a danger in certain situations. Akita males can stand up to 28 inches, 71 centimeters, tall and weigh up to 120 pounds, 54 kilograms, while females can be up to 25 inches, 64 centimeters, tall and weigh up to 100 pounds, 45 kilograms. They have a thick, double coat that comes in various colors, including white, brindle, and black. While Akitas are known for their loyalty and affection towards their family, they can also be aggressive towards strangers and other animals if not socialized properly. This breed has a high prey drive, and their strength and determination can make them difficult to control. Due to their aggressive nature, Akitas are banned in some states in the United States, such as Michigan, and in countries such as New Zealand and Denmark. Their bite force is reported to be around 400 to 450 psi pounds per square inch, which is relatively high compared to other dog breeds. In summary, the Akita is a powerful and independent breed that requires proper socialization and training to control their aggressive tendencies. They have a strong prey drive and a high bite force, which makes them potentially dangerous in the wrong hands. Therefore, it is important to thoroughly research and consider the responsibilities of owning an Akita before bringing one into your home. 2. Alaskan Malamutes around 540 psi although some sources say 222 psi that's a huge gap i know alaskan malamutes are large and powerful dogs that were bred for pulling sleds and hunting they are the larger cousins of siberian huskies here are some of their traits one height and size males typically stand at 25 inches tall and weigh between 85 to 100 pounds while females stand at 23 inches tall and weigh between 75 to 90 pounds. 2. Physical Features Alaskan Malamutes have a thick and dense double coat that comes in various shades of grey, black, and white. They have a broad head with triangular ears that stand erect, a plumed tail that curls over their back, and large, strong paws. 3. Temperament They are friendly, loyal, and playful dogs. 
They are highly energetic and require lots of exercise and mental stimulation. They are known to be vocal and are prone to howling. Alaskan Malamutes are not considered a dangerous breed, and they are legal to own in most places. However, there are some states and countries that have banned them or have specific regulations around owning them. For example, in some areas of the United States, such as Denver, Colorado, and Miami-Dade County, Florida, owning an Alaskan Malamute is prohibited. In some parts of Europe, they are also banned or restricted. It is important to check local laws before owning an Alaskan Malamute. 5. Bite Force The bite force of Alaskan Malamutes is not well documented, but they are known to have a strong jaw and powerful bite. It is estimated that their bite force ranges between 300 and 500 pounds per square inch, si, which is similar to that of other large dog breeds. Overall, Alaskan Malamutes are not typically considered a dangerous breed. They are friendly and loyal dogs that require lots of exercise and attention. However, like all dogs, they can become aggressive if not trained and socialized properly. It is important to research and understand the temperament and needs of any dog breed before bringing one into your home. 1. Presser Canario, around 540 PSI. The Presser Canario, also known as the Perro de Presser Canario, is a large and muscular dog breed that was originally developed in the Canary Islands for working purposes such as guarding, hunting, and herding. Here are some traits and characteristics of the Presser Canario. 1. Height and size. Males typically stand between 23 and 26 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh between 100 and 160 pounds. Females are slightly smaller, standing between 22 and 25 inches tall and weighing between 85 and 130 pounds. 2. Appearance. The Presser Canario has a short, coarse coat that comes in a variety of colors, including black, brindle, fawn, and brown. They have a large, broad head with a powerful jaw and deep-set, almond-shaped eyes. 3. Temperament. The Presser Canario is a dominant and protective breed that can be loyal and affectionate with its family but wary of strangers. They require early socialization and training to prevent aggression towards other dogs and people. 4. Bite Force. The Presser Canario has a powerful bite force that has been measured at 540 pounds per square inch, sigh making them one of the strongest and deadliest biting dog breeds. Due to their history of aggression towards humans and other animals, the Presser Canario is banned or restricted in several states and countries, including Australia, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, and some parts of the United States such as Michigan and Colorado. It is important to note that not all Presser Canarios are aggressive, and responsible ownership and training can help prevent dangerous behavior. And that's it for our rundown of nine of the most dangerous and banned dog breeds. Of course, there are deadlier dogs with much higher bite force, like the Cane Corso with a bite force of 700 PSI, American Bandog sitting at 730 PSI, and the Turkish Kangal with an outstanding 743 PSI. Just imagine one of these dogs seriously biting you, Ouch! In conclusion, while it's true that these breeds have a higher likelihood of causing harm, it's important to remember that a dog's behavior is largely shaped by their environment and training. Responsible ownership and proper training can go a long way in preventing incidents and fostering a loving relationship between owner and dog. So if you're thinking about getting a dog, be sure to do your research, choose a breed that fits your lifestyle and personality, and be a responsible and loving owner. After all, a well-trained dog can be a loyal and devoted companion for life. Remember, it's not necessarily the breed that's dangerous, but rather the actions of their owner. And with that, we hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and share it with your fellow dog lovers. And of course, Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative and entertaining content. Stay safe and responsible, and until next time, be curious.